Hello everybody and welcome back to another haul video here on the channel. Today we are sharing everything we got at Gen Con 2023. I am joined by Jeremy. Yes, Gen Con was a confusing mess, but we managed to buy things. Yes, and Riddles, who is judging our haul. Yes. And of course, I'm Elaine. And I'm Jeremy. We already established Wait. that, Jeremy. Well, I don't know. You sounded like you were doing a bit. Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's get start started. the video. My, one, of, one of my favorite items. The only plushie I got, surprisingly, considering my interests, is what I've been informed is a bonsai tree. But to me, it looks like Angry Groot, and he full evermore will be Angry Groot in our household. Little Aboriginal tree man. That's racist. <laughs> it's cute. I like him. <clears throat> and he can uh, be held up by his head. He can hang out with riddles. Next up is Wicked and Wise, a game I actually play tested at Gen Con and had fun with. It's by <clears throat> Wild or Weird Giraffe Games, and I'm going to make Jeremy play it. Weird Giraffe. Yeah, it's a trick-taking game. Yeah, not a normal giraffe. It's a weird one. Yeah. He, are you excited, Jeremy? I I'm am make excited. You play it with me. Is God Dragon and Mices? Mices on the on the cover. <laughs> Is it like Moosin? Many much Moosin in the woods and. <laughs> Next up is something we I apologize, up. everybody, for me clearing my throat and sniffling, but I have been fighting off something for three or four weeks now, and I got to make content, so I can't wait until I can talk. He's weak of body, but we still love him. This is a Gen Con exclusive puzzle that we got from Mama Rally. It's a dragon. Yeah. We love dragons. She likes puzzles, so she got a puzzle that is... Exclusive to Gen Con. <laughs> it's their mascot dragon, but made much less chibi and friendly so looking. Is this Ravenburger the dragon? No, it's the Gen Con mascot, I think, turned into a cool puzzle. It's Gen Conius the dragon. Gen Conius Draconis. I see what you did there. Grab the next thing. Okay. So we also play tested the My Hero Academia card game, and we got many much decks. And this is as good as I'm going to get because I'm a basic bro and I refuse to pay money for overpriced cards. Do you want to talk about all the decks we got? Yeah, so we got Mirio, we got Overhaul, we got Eraserhead, we got All Might, and we got uh, one for, uh, oh no, all for one. You got it backwards here. You're, I always you're there. See that. Listen, got they have two it. things that sound exactly the same. But, but backwards. Yeah, so uh, these are the decks that we have, and we can play against each other with these starter decks. So that seems like fun. You can also build. Like, you can combine the decks because you can combine them based on the symbols that they have. As long as they share a symbol, you can have them in the deck. So it'll be fun. Play around with it. We'll, we'll do some unboxing content uh, to show, like, you know, the cards and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to be Aizawa because he's like my spirit animal. He just doesn't care and wants naps. Yeah, and Lakota is going to be Overhaul because Overhaul is one of his favorite things to cosplay as. And I'm going to be Mirio because it was the one that was left. And then we just got these in case we got bored. Yeah. So, yeah, man, we're going to clash. You want to clear the boxing while I pull out the next thing? An oldie, but hopefully a goodie is... Ohonami from, uh, or Ohanami, Pandasaurus Games, comes in a cute little box, hangs on a thing. One of my primary reasons for going to uh, Gen Con was I was working for Pandasaurus at the event, doing some demoing and running some of their events. So now we got many much Pandasaurus Games. Here's the first one. Ready for the next one? Yes. It's one of their newer <laughs> ones. It's called... After us. Yes, it's a cool game about animals who exist after humans. Monkeys and apes, I'm assuming. That's what it looks like from first glance in the box. 
I think they're going for an evolution theme this this year because there's also a merge, which is a big old heavy box. Yeah, this one was fun. It's like you're settling islands with animals, and you get points based on the size of the island multiplied by the number of animal or number of meeples that are on there, which are primarily animals and uh, trees. <clears throat> And these were the two games that I was demoing, uh, doing the events for. And it was District Noir and Orem. This is a trick-taking game. Uh, I was told several times, because we were in the Midwest, I was told several times that it was like Euchre, which is a game that I've never played before, but apparently everybody in Indiana plays. And But it's opposite in many ways, also what I was told. <laughs> and District Noir is super simple, and it is a game where you're trying to recruit members to your faction and uh there's two factions in like a noir setting that you're trying to recruit people to he's trying to re recruit support cards and get points and we will be reviewing them at some point by we yes. naturally mean that guy yes we also tried out many much tcgs and this is one of the ones we picked up it's called primal yeah it was a lot of fun i didn't play it i just looked at the cards and i was like those are pretty yeah i played for like an hour and uh, it was a lot of fun, and we got stuff where we can build decks. We wanted to create our own decks and be able to play against each other, so that'll be fun. We'll also do an unboxing on these. This We have a booster box, and we have, what is this? This is an Omni pack. I don't know what that means, but it has... One plus foil per pack, seven cards per pack, 20 packs per box. So, yeah. Fun times. That is 140 cards in there. Then I got Open Ocean, because he's got a pretty little ocean. Got a little sharky. He's going to be my little sharky friend. He's not on the cover, though, but I saw it and I wanted him, so I bought it. And then, yeah, these are from that, too, isn't it? Yeah, I think I got, <clears throat> like, some sort of... Oh, we also have a promo card for Emerge, by the way, which we didn't show. Promo card, postcard thing for another game, which I am completely forgetting the name of because I'm a silly lupkin. And next we could show off our cool Lorcana pins. Yeah. We got two of those. Lorcana pins. Mickey with a scissor sword, which is kind of cute. Yeah, the Lorcana line was the longest line at the con consistently because people were lining up like the night before to get some of these cards that were going for thousands of dollars, which is ridiculous. This is why I don't play TCGs. It's a game that just came out, too. Like, why are the cards worth so much already? Because it's Disney. That's the Disney tax. Now we got some role-playing games. I got a Cowboy Bebop one because my boy loves the Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. It's apparently a self-contained one. It's not based off of like 5e or anything, and you could just play out of the gate. So I'm looking forward to that. Quick start guide. Yeah. Apparently everyone outside has decided that now is going to be when all the trucks are coming by. Yay! Next up is Seven Sinners, which is 5e compatible, among other things. It won an award. I don't it know what it is for, award. but I assure you it did win one. I just don't know what it is. You can let me know down below in the comments because I'm a silly girl. So this is for the boys because they like their stuff. Said, we like our RPGs. And yeah. Oh, well, you have that over there. I do have this. And I'm getting too much stuff over here, so you're going to have to start putting some stuff over there. It's called Wild Realms. It's the uh, first game from a small game company, Daywalker Syndicate. I even got a promo card, which we'll show you later because it's in that box and the box is not currently open. Yes. And I'm really excited because I really like the art. I saw yeah. the art and I was like, I it like that. It is really cool. It's like a swirly, not watercolor, but like a swirly pastel kind of design. And then they showed me how to play and I'm like, I want that. I want that. Only $50 and it's a big old box. So that was exciting. What journey is complete without new clothes? My 
Mountain Mew. Duncan Digrit. Look at that Digrit. You love Diglett now. Yeah. I think there's, these are cute. They're like food logos that have Pokemon themes. There was like a Cinnabon with Cyndaquil and Chikorita Banana. They were cute. These are the program to Dead Cod. We got like 10 of them. You might see another one just lurking in the corner of our screen. Quick, quick start rules for this, which is uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics uh, role play game. So another quick start guide. Yeah, there's a, a ton over here. Another another program. <laughs> oh look, another program. Oh my. Oh look, another program. <laughs> um, and I don't even know what all this stuff is. This is these are just like flyers. They're like, here, look at my game. Please look at my game. Here's a flyer for the game I want you to look at. I'm like, okay. Japan anime flyer. I apparently own most of their games, so that's that's news. Sticker. We love stickies. And then these. You want to show these? I mean, you have a space over there to take okay. them out, so. <clears throat> oh. This is my ribbon where I won... I came into Indiana and went to their state fair and came in fourth place in the watermelon seed catapult contest. Like you do. This is a, a card for the person that we're about to show you art from. Oskin Art. O-S-C-E-N. These are the the battle maps for, or like the, the play mats for the primal card game. We have a bunch of cards for various <clears throat> games and companies and such. And I'll eventually dig down to... Oh, here's another one of these. These art cards. <clears throat> We're getting there. We're getting there. This is, these are rules for Primal TCG, <laughs> which we are going to need in order to play the game. And then, wait. There is one promo card on there that should be for the animal game. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't find it, so we'll look for it later. But it exists. Oh, and here is the artwork that Elaine got, starting with this piece here, um, skinny lady in red dress, and. Then, how many are in here? Four. It's not the easiest to take these out. <clears throat> then we have a guy or a gr girl with short right, white hair and blue eyes. <laughs> Great description, Jair. Yeah, Do it again. it is factually accurate. Uh, we'll take that out and go to the next one. We have two boys hugging with a snake. And then we're going to take this one out. And we have mermaid lady with fishnets on her arms. Angry fish in the background. Yeah, with angry fish in the background. And this is the last one, right? Yes. So, yeah, these were really nice. Uh, they were, what's the name of the place? Oskin Art. Oskin Art. And you can find them on patreon.com slash Oskin. That, that's O-S-C-E-N. I can read it right off the back, uh, in the inside of the box there. Dot art. Dot art. I think, maybe? No. Patreon, Just... that's not how it works. Patreon.com slash O-S-C-E-N. And then I'm sure you can find everything else. There's They can find them on Instagram and all those kind of things. But they're really cool. And they're going to go up in our apartment. And I'm excited to have, like, high-classy-looking art. 
up going up into our apartment. <clears throat> what else we got? Some more TTRPGs. We've got worms, where you're dragons that want to eat all the other dragons. And demonosity, which I don't remember the premise of, but it came in a bundle with this one, so we bought it. Yeah. Um, and there was another one. There's more. There should be another RPG in there. Well, we didn't play this one, but they were handing out free stuff, so we took some... Uh, I tried to play it, but they're like, no, we have to get back to Canada. We can't demo. Empires of the Rise. I don't remember the name of the trading card game. Legion Realms at war.ca. Legion Realms at War TCG. There we go. We got there. We got there. But yeah, we'll open these at some point. It's going to be exciting. Yes. The Adventure Journal. Yeah, I got an Adventure Journal uh, for D&D, and it is signed by D&D Shorts off of YouTube. You can look on the community tab. I posted something of uh, a picture of us meeting him. He was cool. <clears throat> he seemed genuinely appreciative to have people uh, come and meet him and greet him and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. This is uh, a book. One of another, yet another program that uh, I got signed by several people. Um, who, who even signed it? Oh, yeah. Uh, Tom Vassell from uh, Dice Tower. Z Garcia. Yeah, Z Garcia. Um, what was. Was it D and D therapy? And uh, oh, who's the last person that signed it? I can't read anybody's names. Well, there was that guy who did the magic art. He didn't sign it. No, you got the first day. You got someone who did magic art sign it. Did I? I think so. No, I had him make a, make a thing. The last one is a mystery. We'll, we'll figure it out, and I'll put it in the description. <clears throat> we got this promo card. I don't know what it's for, but it's a promo card. Oh, yeah, this is for the other one that I'm talking about. This is the, there should be another RPG in there. Oh. This one? Yeah. Atma. Atma RPG. This is a self-contained out-of-the-box RPG that has cards for your characters and all of your things that's going to happen and your scenes and everything. And you just kind of play cards to do your RPG experience. And it looked like fun. We played it. Well, we didn't really play it, but we got a demo of it. But yeah, that's a, that's a promo card for that. It is a twist card for the convention hall because it was Gen Con. Promo card for Flamecraft. Flamecraft Alchemy, which we've done an unboxing for. And have not played, because we're silly. Yes. And the last least exciting thing, Dragon Shield stuff. We got Yeah, Ember. Dragon Shield. Oh, I don't have my, I didn't grab my, uh, my 2023 exclusive Mag Dragon Shield shields. Magenta. And the pin. I have them. They're in the other room. Ruby. And Peaches, just in time for the Jack Black song. Yes. Yeah. Peaches, 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 peaches. <laughs> wow. So, well, we got anything else? Is that it? Bookmarks. Book bookmarks, but no yeah, one cares this, about bookmarks. This is primarily what we got. I'm sure there's some other scattered stuff around, but this is basically what we got. The rest was basically like cases to put cards in. Yeah, we got a lot of those because of the the my hero stuff, and yeah. I also needed cases for my magic stuff. Fun story and highlight of the event for me was I went to buy the last sets of decks for the my hero, and the guy was just like banging my card boxes against each other i'm like can you can you stop can you stop and eventually someone was like guy st 
stop doing that. This girl is asking you not to do that. He made it rain the uh, promo Ida cards. He's like, here, no you want. no one wanted Ida. He's, yeah, Ida was the last card that was left out of the promo cards. Oh, I, don't, I have those too. I have the, the all six of the promo cards for My Hero card game. Uh, Ida was the only one that was left. And he's like, here, just make it rain Ida. So he just got like a whole fistful of Ida cards, Ida promo cards, because nobody wanted them. We'll probably show them up at the end of the video. Yeah. We'll take pictures. Take pictures and show you. But, uh, yeah, so that's it. What did you think of Gen Con in general? I thought it was very big, very disorganized. No one knew where anything was. And we didn't even see, like, half of it. Like, I'm looking at all the other videos of, like, the halls and what my friends picked out. And I'm like, I don't even remember seeing that. That was there. There were there was a lot of stuff. It was hard to see everything. It was very congested. I think they had a record breaking attendance of like seventy five thousand people or something. There was so much stuff spread out throughout the different hotels and Lucas Oil Stadium and all of these things. And the the program was okay, but the website was horrendous. I, you couldn't see the list of anything of where things were going on. It was really, it was really unorganized, and for something that is the, if not the biggest, one of the biggest, like tabletop gaming slash board gaming events in the country every year, you would think they would be a little bit more organized. But they did have a lot of stuff, so we did get to see a lot of stuff, and just kind of wandered into things because I couldn't understand the schedule. <laughs> we played a lot of games we probably wouldn't have played normally. There were some things that we wanted that they sold out of that we might pick up later in review. Yeah. But that'll be a surprise. Yes. But, yeah, that's our haul. So if you guys are ever going into Indiana during the summer months when Gen Con is going on, just pop in. Just don't expect to know what you're going to see because it's all over the place. Scattered throughout eight different hotels and three different large buildings. <laughs> but it, it was fun. And we did got to get to experience a lot of cool things. And if you think that this kind of a video is a cool thing, then leave a like for it. Like it if you like it. Leave a comment down below. Have you ever been to Gen Con? Or what is your favorite kind of convention that you go to? Do you go to one regularly every year? And... You make sure that you set aside the dates a year in advance every time, like I'm a lifetime member to Kineticon. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this content going forward and ring that bell so you know what's up. And we will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hi, Tasia Valenza, a.k.a. Poison Ivy. And you've just been watching King's Entertainment Reviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch.